Good morning and welcome to our podcast and devotional Good Morning Lord. I'm Diana Bryant and this devotional is intended to help you meditate more on the Word of God, put it into practice and start off your week right. The title of today's devotional is Your Treasure. Today we will be meditating on James 5, 1-3, a scripture that motivates us to reflect about what type of treasures we are accumulating here on earth. James 5, 1-3 says, Now listen, you rich people, weep and wail because of the misery that is coming on you. Your wealth has rotted and moths have eaten your clothes. Your gold and silver are corroded. Their corrosion will testify against you and eat your flesh like fire. You have horrid wealth in the last days. James in this verse makes us reflect on what kind of wealth we are treasuring here on earth. The Word of God tells us in Mark 10.25 that it is easier for a camel to enter through a needle than a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. When we make an idol of our material wealth, a treasure that has captivated our hearts, we run the risk of these words being directed towards us. Money and riches, if we don't know how to manage them and we don't understand that everything we have belongs to the Lord, then these riches, instead of blessing us, becomes a curse since they separate us from the Lord. Riches, if we don't know how to handle them, can damage our hearts and make us hard and insensitive to the needs of other people. For this reason, it is necessary to always comply with the commandment to love God above all things, which includes surrendering our wealth at His feet, as well as remembering that everything belongs to Him, complying with our tithes and offerings, and making sure that our riches, whether they are big or small, are a blessing to others as well. In the end, as the Word of God says, wealth rots and clothes are food for most. Gold and silver rust, and the only thing that prevails in the world is God's and His presence in our life. For that reason, we must make sure that the treasures we are accumulating are heavenly treasures. The metal collects rust, and the clothes are eaten by moths when they are still, which means that God here speaks to all those riches that we have accumulated and stored, and that they are not serving in God's kingdom. These riches can also be talents, gifts, or any other wealth that God has allowed us to experience. If these riches are still, they will end up collecting rust or becoming moth's food. The Word of God says that rust will bear witness against you and will consume your bodies like fire, which indicates that the more pride, arrogance, selfishness, coldness, ambition, stillness, and lack of compassion we have, the more rust our riches will collect and will testify to God of our actions. Our focus in life should not be to accumulate wealth on this earth, since our Heavenly Father provides everything we need, but to seek the kingdom of God and His justice, and everything else will be provided by Him. We should joyfully share the abundance that the Lord has given us with others during these times of need. Our treasures should serve the kingdom of God. Today, I encourage you to meditate on this word by asking yourself the following questions. What kind of wealth am I accumulating here on earth? What place do these riches have in my heart? Are these riches active in the kingdom of God? I also encourage you to put the word into practice this week the following way. Make sure that all your treasure is placed in the hands and under the will of God. Surrender all your possessions and talents to God and find out how He wants you to manage them. His kingdom and His desire should always be your greatest treasure. Keep your riches active in the kingdom of God. I invite you to follow me on my social media on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. I inspire you every day to transform your life one day and a step at a time. I will leave the link in the description where you will be able to find other links that will take you to other valuable content. I also ask that you share this devotional with another lady. Bless her life by letting her know that you thought of her while listening to this episode. See you next Monday at our devotional Good Morning Lord and from Tuesday to Friday in our one-minute inspirational podcast, Wisdom Seeds. God bless you.